Tonight, a landmark on the Las Vegas Strip is marking its final hours. The Tropicana Hotel will close its doors at noon tomorrow after opening them all the way back in 1957. Tonight, we are looking back at the hotel's storied past with one of the star showgirls who put it on the map. But first, let's go out to Fox 5's Mike Allen, who's live outside the Tropicana for us tonight after hearing from some of the final visitors there, Mike. Yeah, I've been in and out of the Tropicana for the last several hours, walking around, talking with folks. It's about as packed as I've ever seen it. It's filled with people wanting to get one last look inside. It's just sad. It's just sad to see it go. Leticia Castillo came from L.A. to stay at the Tropicana on its last night of business. It's something I just felt I needed to do. She paid about $300 for her room as soon as she heard when it was closing. I immediately booked it. I knew the rates were going to go up, so I was like, let me book while the rates are still, you know, affordable. Others I talked with outside the hotel wanted just to get a close-up look before the 67-year-old building closes its doors for good. From locals... With the Tropicana being gone, it's just like, you know, it feels like, you no know, vintage Las Vegas is just fading away bit by bit. To other folks from out of town... What I'm going to miss is just the history behind it. Some that reminisced on old memories. Stayed at the Tropicana. It was a beautiful place. We loved it. We just wanted to pay homage to it and, and you know, kind of bring back some memories from 30 years ago. And others that wish they had more of an opportunity. I never got to really see old Vegas. So like this is the closest thing that I'll get to seeing old Vegas is the, the Tropicana. Some folks are seizing on this moment to try and make some quick money. Like this person listing a water bottle from the hotel for a thousand bucks. Castillo says she's got some keepsakes in her room to bring back home after this final night of the hotel. We got the keys, we got the player's card, we got bags. Now something else folks are doing here is going into the tables and getting as many cheap poker chips as they can get. By the time I went in to try to do that, all I could find were $25 ones. So the cheap ones are basically all gone. And on that note, I literally just minutes ago, right before we came on air, had someone come up to me asking why they're telling people they don't have enough chips to let people gamble. I'm going to go in and see, A, if that's actually happening right now, and B, if that's related to folks buying up the chips. So in the next hour, I'll have an answer for you on that. Reporting live tonight at the Tropicana, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. The Tropicana says its gaming floor will close at 3 a.m. tomorrow morning. Guests will have to check out by 11 a.m. And as we mentioned, the doors close for good at noon. As for a demolition date, the chairman of the Tropicana's parent company speculates it could happen in October. All this is being done to make way for a new ballpark for the athletics. That should be done by 2028.